trying to be in community with a dear lady that I've never met. Thank goodness for social media. Social media is crap in a lot of ways, but it's teaching a lot of us about community, about our rights, about not being alone, about being seen. Many needs met in community, in, in mutuality, in being seen, in being understood, and it, it's huge. <clears throat> this poor gal <laughs> is married to a man, and I met her through a group where we're trying to change our bodies, in this case, release excesses. And her excess pounds uh, are troubling for her, and we exchange often. And she shared to this group that her mate, after they shopped the previous night and bought a bunch of new supplies, walked up to her while she's doing the dishes and shook an empty Cheez-Its box in her face and said, really? Of course, she burst into tears because it's been rude. She then went to show him the new box is still in the pantry unopened. She just ate the last of the crappy stale ones at the bottom. His apology was because he assumed it was her. She thought that was enough. I get why, because I've been there too. It wasn't. He doesn't get to talk to her that way. And I hopefully shared in a way that was more compassionate sounding than that. <laughs> he doesn't. If he has trouble with stuff, she puts it. I kind of wish she was shoving the last handful of the new box in her face because it's not up to him. It will never be up to him. And if he can't deal with what she does when she falls off the wagon, he needs to get a friend, get a therapist, get a journal, go to an Al-Anon meeting, figure it out. And I have compassion for people who are around addicted people. And I consider anybody addicted who makes a plan and can't stick to it when their addiction is in front of them. Unlike smoking, alcohol, drugs, sex, gambling, we cannot stop eating. We cannot um, ab abstain. There's no abstinence from eating. That's just true. And the shaming. He didn't need to shake that in her face and get in her face about it, really. And people in the comic section, a bunch of women actually, were like, well, he, he was probably just disappointed because he wanted some. No, no. And maybe yes, but tough shit. No. He will never be entitled. And I had a mate who tried to pull that shit. And thought he was helping. I'm just trying to help. I just, I'm just, I, it's hard watching you fall off the wagon. It's hard. It's hard when it's, I, I get it. That's a you problem. That's a you problem. Get, like I say, read a book, find it, get a journal, find a friend. Time to get involved in solving your own issues. And if you can't provide safety, for your mate who's going through something, you're not helping. And if you can't keep yourself from being a shit, shut up. And Marshall Rosenberg teaches us in nonviolent communication, a whole nother thing that I play around in. If you can't say something supportive or helpful or compassionate or empathetic, show curiosity. And if you can't do that, shut up. In this case, her eating didn't injure anyone. Unlike times I've been with alcoholics who beat me and they fell off the wagon, I was in danger. <laughs> My life was threatened. So I get to be upset and I get to take steps. But that's a different thing. That's not what this is. That's never what it is when someone's eating. Even if you think they're hurting themselves and you're entitled because you're a mate, you're not. Whatever she would, I wish she had been shoving the new box in her face, the last handful, because it's not up to anybody else. The world at large, unlike almost every other population, the world at large feels every social, economic, racial, creed, religion believes they get to shit at people who are fat. And this country, the United States, is almost half fat. Much of the population is fat, so it's not 
just shame you or just get outside more or just eat less or just do or just 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 <laughs> shut up. There's more going on. So I have compassion for people who got to get through it and people who live with the people who got to get through it. But don't pile on your person who's struggling. Never a good idea.